Hello everyone, <laughs> me again. First of all, like, comment, subscribe for more videos and constructive comments, please. Constructive criticism, please. That's all I'm asking for. But <laughs> whatever, I can't control nobody. First of all, just want to say I'm liking what I'm doing now. I'm really enjoying it because it's a lot like, <laughs> like I can't even stress how much interesting you know celebrity news is happening and i could do a little i could do some research write it write down my comments and present it to you know whoever out there i'm gonna t like right now i'm gonna talk about the jesse smollett incident which at first seemed like it was gonna be a big you know like a big um I don't even know the word right now, but I thought it was going to be like a big thing, but it turns out, you know, <laughs> he's a good actor. I'll, I'll give him that. But first of all, uh, a friend of mine actually brought it up to me like the same day or I guess the day after it happened. They brought it up to me way before any suspicions arose. Right. And I looked it up because I didn't know who he was. Right. Like, a little disclaimer, I'm not a fan of his, right? So, I could be objecti objective in my comments right now. But, uh, what can I say? Yeah, so she brought it up to me, right? The same day or the next day that it happened. And I looked it up, right? And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Like, I actually, like, I really felt bad. Like, it was two people that attacked him. I mean, <laughs> let me put that in quotation mark. But it was two people that attacked him, right? And I'm like, wow, and he's black, so like, damn, another hate crime? Because we know how serious hate crimes are. And before I even knew that he was a part of the LGBT community, he was black. So, more, I mean, more than likely, they would classify it as a hate crime. Which, let me be clear, if it was actually a real thing, it would be a hate crime. So, I mean, I have some notes, because... I had to do research on this, the whole situation because as it was happening, I wasn't really paying attention, but I knew I was going to talk about it. So, so, I mean, he claims two men attacked him and they yelled, this is a MAGA country, you know, supporting Trump and whatnot. And one thing I'll say about that, right, is I saw some comments on Facebook that said, why would two white guys, I mean, I guess this is before... They found out that it was actually two black guys. You know, it was staged or whatever. But why would two white guys <laughs> be walking around at like 3 a.m. or something in Chicago? To, I mean, I mean, in, yeah, because Chicago's crime reading or whatever. Like, I understand all of that. But I feel like that variable alone isn't enough to make the whole story suspicious. You know what I mean? Like, I guess people thought it was suspicious just from that <laughs> before the, you know before they found out who it actually was but i feel like that independent variable alone is not enough to make the story suspicious that's just my opinion but yeah and they placed a noose around his neck and poured bleach on him now <laughs> i mean i mean come on <laughs> It seems fishy right there, but I wanted to believe it. I really do. And another thing is, some people will be like, why would they be yelling, this is MAGA country in Chicago? And I'm like, I don't think, that's that's another thing. That, that, that too, that didn't make it seem like it was suspicious at all. Because to be honest, there's people out there. I'm sure there's people in Chicago, black people that voted for Trump. So that wasn't suspicious to me. And then after all of this, you know, two brothers were arrested. This is a few weeks after. Early February for the attack, but they cooperated and were let go. A few weeks later, Jesse himself became a suspect. Because I guess the brothers who... I guess, no, they turned themselves in. But I guess they confessed that it was all staged and whatnot. So... It comes to light that the brothers, they were hired by Jesse himself, which is interesting to say the least. 
he I guess he was um upset at his salary or like his role on Empire was dwindling or something and they came to light that he was sending himself hate mail to the Empire set and oh man. I'm like, man, this is crazy. <laughs> this is really crazy. Like he actually did all of it for what, to be honest. He did a lot just to make it seem like he was innocent, but he, he wasn't. And I was, I was upset because I was actually, like, I actually felt bad. Like, I actually put in some time to think, like, wow, this shit is still happening. <laughs> I mean, I know it is, but, like, I actually really felt bad, to be honest. Just for him to come out and say it was all a lie, it was all fake. And so much people rode for him. Like, so much people was riding, ride or die for him. Like, his family, some celebrities came forward and whatnot. A lot of people didn't believe it from the beginning. A lot of these circumstances, like, it's too strange to actually be true. Which, I will give you that. <laughs> these circumstances don't seem legitimate, to be honest. But, <laughs> I mean, but, like, come on shit happened imagine all of the hate crimes that go unreported imagine all of the circumstances that happened in said hate crime it may seem outlandish far-fetched or just weird but it could happen right are we are we gonna deny that shit like that happens maybe not to that extent but hate crimes with these ex uh ex existential Circumstances. I don't even know if that's the right word, but that's what I'm going to use right there. Circumstances like that, that happens. We can't just discredit them. And the fact that he was black, right? That's one thing. And the fact that he was a, a part of that community. It could have been real. Like, he's black and he's gay, right? So it's like, damn. He was actually about to... Like, maybe if it was legitimate, it would have been good on his part. Not good that it happened, but good that he he shed some light on hate crimes. Because this shit happens. No matter where you go, it happens. I hate, like, I'm not even going to lie. And like I said, I could be objective. I don't like that he lied about it. I don't like that he went through, like, such length. You know... To make it seem like it was true. All at the end of the day. For it to not be true. Now maybe. He'll, he shed some light on his career. He was not happy. I guess they cut him from Empire now. For, just for that. But I guess he was unhappy with his situation. So. He did something about it at least. I mean like damn. He's a good actor. <laughs> he had he had everybody. Well not everybody. But he had mostly everybody full. Yeah, me fool for sure. But I guess I'll start to follow him now. This was actually very interesting that he did all of this. And that he had people fooled for so long. And I hope he don't face jail time. He probably won't. He's famous. But yeah, I think that's about it for this situation. It wasn't much. But I did have to do some research because I wanted to make sure I had the facts down. And I was able to formulate my opinion based on the facts. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. And um... My next video, because I'm trying to get a video out every week, and I missed, as usually Saturday or Sunday where I record, and I try to put it up, but today's Monday, because I couldn't do it these last two days for for reasons, but <clears throat> my next video I'm planning to, planning to do is the Jordan Woods situation and that whole cheating sand, scandal, because boy, I have a, <laughs> it's, it's funny, like a lot of things that happen in that situation, it's just funny, because it's not relatable to me personally, but relatable to people around me. And yeah, so I'm going to talk about that next. And yeah, I'll probably, today's Monday for this video. So I'll probably put that video up this weekend. Yeah, I'll try to get it up this weekend.